Well, good morning. It's January 30th, 2022, and we're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles. Today we're doing lesson number 30. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. The idea for today is a springboard for vision. From this idea will the world open up before you and you will look upon it and see in it what you have never seen before. Nor will what you saw before be even faintly visible to you. Today we are trying to use a new kind of projection. We are not attempting to get rid of what we do not like by seeing it outside. Instead, we are trying to see in the world what is in our minds and what we want to recognize is there. Thus, we are trying to join with what we see rather than keeping it apart from us. That is the fundamental difference between vision and the way you see. Today's idea should be applied as often as possible throughout the day. Whenever you have a moment or so, repeat it to yourself slowly, looking about you, and trying to realize that the idea applies to everything you do see now, or could see now, if it were within range of your sight. Real vision is not limited to concepts such as near and far. To help you begin to get used to this idea, try to think of things beyond your present range as well as those you can actually see as you apply today's idea. Real vision is not only unlimited by space and distance, but it does not depend on the body's eyes at all. The mind is its only source. To aid in helping you to become more accustomed to this idea as well, devote several practice periods to applying today's idea with your eyes closed using whatever subjects come to mind and looking within rather than without. Today's idea applies equally to both. All right, and now I'm going to do a reading from the book, A Year of Forgiveness. Lesson number 30, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. We are happy that you are still with us, coming to the end of the first month of lessons. You did not believe you would make it this far, yet here you are on day 30 of A Course in Miracles lessons. Woo! You are already one twelfth of the way toward your goal that you set. So do not fade away now. Do not miss lessons or think they are too hard to understand or difficult to accomplish. You are already planting seeds of love all around you as you do these exercises. When God is in everything you see, you step back from judgment. This is the greatest gift that you can give yourself, your body, your family, your community, and your world. When you step back from judgment saying, that is wrong, that is evil, and that is profane, you open to the universe. You open your consciousness to all that is, and that is the path we walk on together, where we come to a place that there is love for everything. Instead of projecting your hatred, instead of laying hateful stories on the world and giving it a terrible meaning, now you project into the world the truth that God is in everything you see. That does not mean that God created everything you see, but God is all that is. It is important for you to understand this basic principle of forgiveness. Many of you think of forgiveness as letting people off the hook, so to speak. Forgiveness is a way of looking at the world. It is a soft way, a loving way, a kind way. It keeps your heart open and your defenses down. And that is how you connect to your brothers and sisters without fear. Your stories about the world, your judgments about the world, and your cursing of the world or saying it is profane keep you defensive, shut down, and alone. This is why you suffer. Go into this lesson today with great enthusiasm for you shift your consciousness more than you know. You shift the, project the projections that emanate from you more than you know as you begin to see the world not as your enemy, but as a simple reflection of that which is in you, in your mind. It is important these days as we go deeper into these lessons to witness at times your inability to remember what you're meant to do. It is important for you to just see this and say, ah, I have not known what my mind had been doing for several hours. This is why I am in a mind training program. It is not a demonstration of failure. It demonstrates the necessity to do this program. So do not hate yourselves or judge yourselves harshly. 
Merely witness what you are unable to do with your mind. You're unable to focus. At times, you're unwilling even to give a minute to your spiritual practice. In that observation, you realize that if you go six or seven hours without giving a minute or so to your spiritual practice with presence, you create unconsciously all day long, and you will get a very mixed bag of results reflected back to you. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and we love you, and we love that you are with us. Share this information. Be brave. Let people know what you're up to. Do not feel the need to justify or explain it. Just say, this is what I'm up to. Join or don't join. It's up to you. I am that one you know is Jesus, and we will speak to you tomorrow. So there you have it, lesson 30. Um, it's a lot of times when I'm doing these lessons, it feels like it is the absolute perfect lesson to read on a particular day. That'll happen a lot for all of you. Um, so over the past few days, there's been this very large convoy of truckers driving across Canada, heading towards the capital to confront uh, the prime minister around these um, the mandatory medicine uh, injectables that um, apparently you're not allowed to have a job unless you receive the multiple pricks. Um, and unfortunately, it turns out that Trudeau got sick and he had to leave. <laughs> so he's not going to be there when all the trucks arrive. Um, but of course, the mainstream media isn't covering this. And so it automatically puts me in a place of judgment about the governments of the world, the media who's conspiring with the global cult that's in charge of this whole delusion. And, um, you know, but again, even just my language is judgmental. Listen to me. I'm like, I'm such a rookie. Um, but the, the point being is I, I have to see not only is God certainly, uh, in the spirit of all of those truckers, which by the way, may be heading to Washington DC. So I wonder if our leader will have a little sniffle on that day. Um, but if God is in everything that I see, because God is in my mind, God is also with the prime minister of Canada. And God is with my perception of the president of the United States. So it's, it's very interesting to do these lessons in a time where the world feels like it's going crazy, like shit's falling apart everywhere. But it's all in my mind, number one. And number two, God is in every part of it. And so as soon as I start judging people that I disagree with on their perceptions of the so-called illness and the medicines and the restrictions, and um, as soon as I start doing that, I take myself out of peace and I take myself out of this place of equanimity and, and just neutrality. And I'm, I'm off my practice, basically. So I love, love, love this work because it shows me my errors and it makes me accountable to my thoughts and when I begin drifting. So again, have fun with this and be gentle with yourself because I think what this will definitely show you is there's places that you have to work on yourself and um, this is all a journey, it's all learning and things happen to give us the opportunity to evolve. So good luck to you today. Happy 30th day of doing the lessons and I will see you again tomorrow.